Hello to my APA friends! This is Miss Horrocks here, and I have recorded a lesson for you to do while you are at home. I hope that you are enjoying being at home with your family. I know this is a weird and scary time. It's kind of weird for me too, but I'm really happy we can be together right now. So, we are going to be making a color wheel umbrella in a rainy sky. Now friends, usually when I see you, I have all the supplies you need, but you are going to have to find some things around the house and I think that you might have these. So I have some drawing paper, computer paper might work, the back of things like mail could work. Um, so all you need to do is find some paper. If you have something to draw with, that's awesome. I've got a pencil, I have a Sharpie, you could use a pen or a marker, anything like that. Um, I was looking around my house and I found an eraser and I had one of my pencil sharpeners here too. We're going to be coloring these today. Friends, you can color this with anything you have at home. I have a tray of my Prisma sticks at home. Um, if you have colored pencils, that's great. If you have crayons or markers, anything that you want to use that you can find, go ahead and use those. If you can't wrestle up anything like that, then you can bring this to school and color it when we all get back. Got it? Friends, normally when we start class, we start with a warm-up. But I'm not there to give you a warm-up, so let's warm up together. We're going to be practicing some of our shapes that we're going to use in here. So friends, just grab a blank piece of paper. I'm going to be using marker so that it's easier for you to see. If you would rather use pencil so you can erase, that's fine too. My friends, to warm up, let's draw together. We are going to start with a straight line. A what? That's right, straight line. Next, we want to draw an X through our straight line. So I'm going to think about the angle that that X line would make and I'm going to draw just like this. I'm going to take a second line and go just like that. So friends, we have an X with a straight line in it. I want to connect these shapes together, excuse me, these lines together to make shapes. So friends, you can do it like this, using straight lines. You could connect them using curved lines however you would like. This is going to make our umbrella. Friends, next let's talk about making our clouds. Clouds are organic shapes. They're what? That's right, organic shapes. Friends, organic shapes don't really have names. Like we know what a triangle and a square is, but organic shapes don't really have names. Organic shapes have lots of soft curves. So friends, I'm going to make an organic shape out of curved lines. Out of what kind of lines? That's right, curved lines. This is how I draw my clouds. You can draw your clouds however you like. I like it when my lines overlap sometimes. Other people like to draw their clouds with one line. And that's great too. Our puddle is going to be an organic shape. We're also going to be using some angle lines. So friends, please draw an angle line and a straight line and an angle line. And let's draw some dots. For our boots, we're going to start with an angle line and then a curved line a straight line, a straight line, a curved line, and a straight line. Going to top those off with straight lines, and those are our rain boots. So friends, those are just some of the shapes that we're going to be using for our drawing. If you want to practice this again, all you need to do is rewind. You could turn your paper over and draw on the back. As soon as you feel ready, we're going to start our project. Before we get started, let's talk about our elements of shape. Our elements of what? That's right, shape. First we have a dot. A what? A 
anything around us that's colored in. You ready? Next we have our circle, our what? Anything around us that's empty. You ready? We have our straight line, our what? A straight line has no bend. Get ready? We have our curved line, our what? It bends in any direction. And last we have our angle line, our what? It bends so much that it comes to a point. All right, friends, now that we have talked about our elements of shape, let's get ready to draw our color wheel umbrella. So I want my paper to go up and down. How's it going? If your paper is going side to side, then switch it so it's going up and down. My friends, I'm going to put my Sharpie down or pencil or whatever it is that you have. And I'm going to take out my planning finger. I want to think about where everything should be on my paper. So friends, I want my color wheel umbrella to be right about here. <clears throat> I want my person's body to be below my umbrella and my person's boots to be underneath that and there's going to be a big old puddle. So friends, I'm going to start with my umbrella right here. I'm drawing a straight line. You what? That's right, straight line. Next, I am drawing a straight line. And a straight line. I am going to connect each of those lines with a straight line. If they're not perfectly even, that is perfectly fine. Just make sure that you have one, two, three, four, five, six sections. All right, friends, next I'm going to draw an angle line. A what? That's right, angle line. Next I'm drawing a straight line. And an angle line. Next, I'm going to draw three dots. Next, I'm going to draw an angle line, a curved line, and a straight line. And a straight line, a curved line, and a straight line. Those are our boots. I'm going to draw two straight lines. For the next, I want to draw an organic shape. A what? That's right, organic shape. My friends, organic shapes have soft curves and they don't have a name. It's not a square or a triangle or a circle. It's kind of like a blob. That is what an organic shape is. Next, I'm going to go up to the top of my picture. I've got a bunch of negative space. That's this empty space up here. And I am going to draw some clouds. Friends, you can draw your clouds however you want. I'm going to draw my clouds using curved lines. I've got a big curved line. Some small curved lines on either side. And some curved lines to close the shape. I want one of my clouds to go off my page. I think that that makes it look more interesting. You can put as many or as few clouds as you want. I think I'm going to stop at three. 
Now friends, that is it for our drawing. Next, we are going to color our color wheel. My friends, anything that you can find at home will work. I'm at home and I have some of my Prisma colors. You could use colored pencils, you could use markers, you could use crayons, you could use anything you can get your hands on. If you've got some paint at home and your parents are cool with it, you could do that too. <clears throat> so friends, these are the Prisma colors that I have at home. I'm going to draw, excuse me, color my spectrum. So friends, I'm going to start at the top of my color wheel. As we know, colors move in a spectrum. I'm going to start with red. What color? That's right, red. I'm going to color in this first part of the umbrella red. Remember friends, you're using whatever you've got around. Voila. The next color in the spectrum is orange. Is what? That's right, orange. The next color is yellow, is what? That's right, yellow. Next we have green, what? That's right, green. After green comes blue. And after blue is purple. Friends, now that we have our color wheel umbrella colored, we can color our entire artwork. Friends, you can color this however you would like. You can watch to see how I'm coloring mine.
I want my clouds to be nice and dark because rain clouds are dark and heavy. They are full of water. I'm not going to color the whole clouds, just parts of clouds. That's called a value. It's called what? That's right, value. Value is lightness or darkness of a color. What's value? That's right, lightness or darkness of a color. You can keep coloring until your page is completely full of color. If you want to add any details at all, just pick up your pencil or your pen or your marker and add those details in. Alrighty friends, I hope that you have fun with our color wheel umbrella and I will talk to you very soon with another lesson.